It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tower Brewery and this is their Burton Strong Ale coming in at 6% ABV. Brewed in Burton upon Trent. I don't know an awful lot about this brewery. I would like to think it was an independent brewery in Burton. Independent from, you know, the big company, Marston's. I don't know. Uh, there's not too much. A tower Brewery, Wallswich, Maltings, Glenisleway, Burton upon Trent. But this is the home of British beer, Burton upon Trent. When you think about beer in the UK, you think about Burton on Trent. You think about kind of the, the great brewing traditions that were there. I believe um, Bass were there. I believe Bass were Bass there. No, to be honest with you, I know Marsons are there. Um, I know there's 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 museums and there was a lot of breweries centered around Burton upon Trent. Comment in the comments box. Did ba uh, did Bass start off in Burton? I believe they did. Hope they did. Just bef just a little bit before my time, Bass. Literally, I worked for Bass when I worked in a pub as a 20 year old but by then it was just a company of a company of a company it was just a name there was no real there was no real bass anymore in terms of seeing it in lots of different pubs around the area it was kind of the only bass strangle, stranglehold in wales was in swansea at that time incidentally as of 2022 bass is still Big in Swansea. But we're not here to talk about bass, we're here to talk about Burton Strong Ale. 6% ABV, 500ml bottle. Picked it up in Morrison's. Cost me less than £2. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. I think that's quite a decent price to pay for a beer that's 6% ABV. Let's, let's hope it's good. It looks good. It looks very traditional. It's got that lovely amber colored to it. One finger slightly off white head, slow moving levels of carbonation rising up the side of the glass there. Nice and clear. It looks like a shiny penny, a new shiny, just freshly minted, Penny. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells good. This, this, this smells good. This, this smells. Incidentally, I bought this at exactly the same time as I bought the two Northern Monk fruited beers, the heavily fruited beers. Um, I reviewed them the other day. And already I, I would much prefer to put my nose into this than than those heavily fruited beers from Northern Monk. This is right up my alley, this is, in terms of, well, fingers crossed it's going to be good. It smells good. Biscuity, bready, nutty, hoppy, it's like grapefruit and it's like raisin and plum coming through. Mmm, it smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That. That is a really, really good 500ml bottle of beer. I want to call it a pint, but a pint is 568, is it, millilitres? 500ml bottle, close to a pint. For argument's sake, for the sake of the review, let's call it a pint, because it's very close to being a pint. This is a delicious, 
delicious pint of beer. Oh. It is so biscuity and bready and nutty. It's got a fantastic sweetness to start with. It's toffee and sweet nuts, sweet bread. And then it goes over to being lovely and bitter on the back end. A lovely punching bitterness coming through on the back end. It's perfectly balanced. That is unbelievable tasting beer. As some of you know, I'm reviewing this in 2022, of course. If you're watching this in the future, I'm, I'm going through the motions a little bit with beer at the moment. 2022 for me is not the greatest year uh, for being in the industry, I suppose. Uh, for me, it saddens me that there's so many of these these fruited beers that are that are out. I, I, when I say fruited beers, I don't mean Belgian fruited beers because they're terrific. I mean fruited pale ales, fruited IPAs, fruited New England IPAs. They're replacing hops with fruit, and it's not a very nice time for me to be in. I mean, I I could ignore it. I could I could not review these beers but but i feel it's my duty to do that as a beer reviewer to to stick with modern trends i'm not a fan of this modern trend of added adding either fruit concentrates or few fruit purees or whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call it it tastes like salero and i don't want to taste a pale ale that actually tastes like Solero. I'd like to try a pale ale and taste a pale ale the taste of a Solero because of hops, but not not with fruit juices, please. I mean, anyway, I've the reason why I brought that up is because I've reverted back slightly. I've taken a not a backwards. I wouldn't call it a backward step, but I I've I've started to look at the bottled ales in the supermarkets now over some of these weird fruit concoction pale ales and, and IPAs and I'm really pleased that I'm doing that now because there are some shining examples some shining examples of really good beer in the supermarket in the bottle section rather than the can section That is lovely and rich. It's got a creamy mouthfeel from the malt. It's biscuity, nutty, bready, perfectly balanced with the hops on the back end. The hops are slight kind of marmalade and grapefruit. There's a lovely bitterness there. There's plum and fig and prune. It's just delicious. It's 6% ABV. I can have a few pints of that, I really could. Burton on Trent created two famous strong beer styles, the Golden India Pale Ale for the long journey to the British Raj and the Amber Red Burton Ale for the booming Baltic trade. The story of IPA is well known. American brewers took it, packed it with their own powerful fruity and bitter hops and influenced contemporary British Brewers to do the same. Tower Brewery has now given Burt Nell the same treatment. An authentic pure malt beer brewed with American Chinook hops. Uh, Tower Burton Strong Ale has the traditional powerful Burt Nell flavour, but with a fruity, spi citrusy, spicy finish to craft a very Moorish modern beer. Uh, serve cool but not cold. Absolutely. Never serve your beer cold. Um, serve it cool. Packed with American Chinook hops. Um, that is absolutely delightful. That is an absolutely delightful, uh, delightful beer. I, I really, really think it is just, just lovely. 
Um, and we touched on a few things there, didn't we? Touched on bass, which Burton on Trap was nothing to do with bass, I suppose, really. It was to do with the IPA story, sending the IPA around the world. That's what made Burton famous. Sometimes my head is filled with cotton wool and nonsense. <laughs> Sometimes it, it needs me to read the back of the bottle to, to get through all the nonsense, you know? The nonsense that I come up with myself talking about bass and uh, all these other things and I was thinking it wasn't the breweries really that made Burton on Trenford and I I just couldn't put my finger on why until I read the back of the bottle that is absolutely delightful 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 beer I really like it I like it enough to give it a stone the crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.